in our monastery, we have studied uh, Buddhist um, philosophy. So we have to investigate, try to see the nature of reality, use many logic, and use many examples, experiments, not with a lab, different way to examine. You know. We don't have the different data, but more like thought experiment, right? So then I came to 1998, I came to USA first time. So then I met many scientists. When I was young, around 10, I think you know the Francisco Varela. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your, your friend, right? Yes. And he came to uh, Nepal, received teaching from my father. And that time, I was really interested in solar system. Galaxies, stars are very small, there's a big part of big galaxies. And then this galaxy is maybe, who knows, another part of big. <laughs> and I asked some questions to him, Francisco Varela. And he told me something about um, galaxies, and also he told me a little bit about the brain. What he said, the brain feels everything, but brain itself doesn't have feeling. Isn't it's true. It? It's true, it's right? True. Yes. Confirm? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so that was very stuck in my mind. In 1998, I came to USA. So I tried to meet many scientists and a lot of discussion. And many of my friends bought me a lot of videos. Stephen Hawking, like physics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I, that time I heard a little bit about your research a little bit. And then 90, 2000, we had a discussion in Dharamsala. Yes. So what I, for me, is there's a lot of parallel between neuroscience, physics, with uh, my meditation view and experience. So what we call in our mind and body is like together, support and support each other. So in the body we have prana, bindu, nadi, and there's different levels of that. It's really fascinating to see in the brain how these neurons, neuro, uh, neurotransmitters, he will tell you all this later, you know, and how they connect each other, how they make gossipy neurons sometimes, <laughs> or we can make it positive group of neurons, flexible, right? Mm -hmm. So Plasticity. Plasticity, yeah. So I heard of that many years before. Neuroscientists doesn't believe that, right? Now mm -hmm. believe. So in our meditation, meditation tradition, everybody has what we call basic goodness. And everybody has wisdom, capability, love, compassion. Everybody is, has skills. So the basic nature of all of us is wonderful. So you all are wonderful people. And each of you has unique, different skills, different capabilities, different wisdoms. So I went to mountain for four and a half years. So I met many people in the mountain. So first time I tried to make fire, you know. <laughs> Just boil on hot water. It took me two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I get uh, some kind of like, you know, I see a lot of galaxies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making fire and stars. I don't need to use a telescope. They just come and around me. <laughs> Sun and moon also. <laughs> and one day I met the local person. And he come to me and he said, oh, I will help you to how to make fire. And he used one small stick. Boop. <laughs> and the fire just come. And he asked me, where are you from? Why you come here? I said, oh, I, you know, monk and many years I meditate. Now I uh, want to do retreat, different places, wandering retreat, something like that. He said, wow, you are so knowledgeable. You are so an experiential guy. So 
I'm stupid. I don't know anything. I'm dumb. I said, I said no, I think you're also unique. And he's gone. And next day he come back with a lot of, you know, what do you call Bunch of wood, dry woods. <laughs> you know, very heavy. I cannot move, but he's just two arm, you know, come. When he put down, almost the earth is shaking. <laughs> very nice dry wood. I'm, I was so happy. So, and he, he said, uh, do you need any help? Um, nothing much you can get from me. I'm kind of like, you know, whole... All my life, I'm looking after cows. I know nothing. I told him, no, no, you are very special. What do you do? He said, looking after cows. He's making chi, and he gave me some chi, round like this. Very thick. And he, I asked him how to make it. It's a lot of process to make this cheese. I told him, maybe one way, I have a lot of experience with the Buddhist philosophy and meditation, but another way, I don't know how to make Fire, you know. <laughs> Yesterday you come and I, I was, day before that, I was trying to make fire for, to boil one hot water, took me for two hours. And after that I drink, it's full of smoke, you know, the water. <laughs> 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 so you just make, like one, boom, fire. And you know how to make cheese, I don't know how to make cheese. And you look after cows, I don't know how to look after cows. So you are unique and one way you are very special and you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge experience which is, I don't have. So he said, yeah, that's true. <laughs> He's happy. So anyway, we all like that. So, most important is we have to recognize, we have to believe ourselves, sometimes we don't know, we ignore. So if we have 10 qualities within us, maybe one of them is negative, nine of them is positive. But we don't look nine positive ones. We only look one negative one and exaggerate sometimes, you know? And when, they, they, when we this exaggerated, then in the brain, I think, in, there's neurons, you know, gossiping neurons. <laughs> they talk each other. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Panic, yes, yes, I agree. How is panic? Yeah, that's no good. Yes, sir. Hey, get out. It's kind of a political group, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> or small and then make it bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> but we can make healthy wisdom community neuron group, right? <laughs> 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 so to recognize your goodness, basic goodness. So we all have this potential. We all have our nature's good. The matter is we have to recognize. It doesn't mean we have or we don't have. We have. Once we recognize, look like, it's become like activation. You have SIM card, you know SIM card? <laughs> and need ac activate, right? <laughs> activate SIM card? Yeah. Yeah. So our nature is like SIM card, but the recognition, the wisdom is like activate the SIM card. So you have to activate yourself, you and your two nature. Have to make link by, by wisdom. So therefore, is it really a lot of benefit by dialogue with science and bit of meditation? And it's really helped me also for understand these things when I have dialogue with science, kind of like a different perspective. <laughs>